Welcome to Sandra Sensations. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to be doing some leaky cups today. I got a 16 by 20 canvas ready to go and I got quite a few metallic colors picked. I've got some of the folk art, the treasures gold, I got aquamarine, the purple topaz, and the, what's this one, rose gold and rose mixed with some liquid metal or the sergeant's art critic art critic <laughs> the sergeant's art liquid metal acrylic paints i've got it in the purple and in the blue and i've also got the peacock metallic pearl also from deco art so i got a mixture we're going to stick with a little bit of the blues and the purple theme with a little bit of the gold and we're just going to do this. Now, if you're new to my channel, please hit subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And of course, all of you that keep coming back, thank you so much. It really does mean the world to me. Sorry, I'm just putting these paints away so I can get stuff off my table. Keep those comments and thumbs up coming. It really does mean the world to me. I love reading everything. I try and respond to everyone. So keep it coming. And I do have a question for everybody that's watching. There's been a couple of videos I've put out recently with music. I really need to know you guys, do you like the music or would you rather just hear me talk as I paint? So my music ones, I talk a little bit, then I just get busy with my painting and we play some music. My talking, I talk all the way through painting, through my bloopers, through everything. So please comment and let me know what you prefer and then I know what direction I want to go with my channel please let me know. Thanks everybody in advance. Okay, let's do this. Let's put these cups down. I'm going to put this guy here. Now these have all been printed by my sweetie Greg on his 3D printer. There we go. And I'm just going to put them roughly where I think the design I want it to go. We'll see what happens. Okay, first color down is going to be my Arteza's Phalo Blue. Now I'm thinking I want to keep my blues and a bit of green up here and my purples and golds down here. But you never know what I'm going to do. That's my plan though. So let's put the first the Phalo Blue here and here. I'm going to do the blues first. I'm not going to say all these colors because there's lots of them. This one's a brilliant blue. Just a little bit of a different blue tone. Oop, that one's got a plug in it. Let's see if we can get that out. There we go. Now that definitely seemed a little bit runnier, that blue. Oops. Now let's get a green. This is just some deep turquoise left over. I'll just finish that one off right there. Okay. Now let's do some metallic ice blue. If I can get the lid off. There we go. There's going to be a lot of metallic paint in this one for sure. Okay. This one's the Aqua from Treasures Gold. Liquitex. 
This one is the liquid, or not liquid tech, sorry, the liquid metal. The blue, the bottle that I showed you. And peacock pearl. Okay, last one down is going to be my turquoise blue from Liquitex. And then I'm going to put some gold, I think, in that one. Okay, let's let these two sit for a minute. And we'll do our purples. I'm going to start with this one first. <clears throat> now would be a good time to hit that notification bell so you can get notified each time I upload a video because I know whoever's watching right now has already hit the subscribe button. And all the thumbs up and the comments that you leave helps any YouTuber that has a channel going grow their channel so please Hit that thumbs up if you like what you're seeing so far and help me grow my channel so I get more views. Okay, one more purple down here. That one is the Lavender by Arteza. I'm going to do the darker gold down here, the rose gold. You know what, I have the urge to add some to this one. some of the regular gold down here. Okay. I feel like this one needs more of a darker purple in there, so I'm going to go purple on top. Okay, let's see. See how we're doing here. These are some cool patterns happening here. Let's give it a little torch. See if we have any cells popping up. Now this is all 50% acrylic paint and 50% Floetrol. The metallics are a little bit thicker, so those have probably a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half of water added. just to help thin it out a little bit. Well, this guy looks like he's almost done draining. Yeah, I'm gonna pull him off. Straight up and over here. How's this one doing? This one's pretty good too. Oh, good suction on there. Well, those two I'm happy with. These guys got to get flowing some more here. I might have to tilt my cup a little bit.
Now these designs are a test run to see if we like them or not, so we'll see. Okay, those guys are all off now. Let's see, do I want to wreck it before I give it a tilt? I think so. I'm just going to take the end of my paintbrush and just run a couple of lines through. Oop, got something, like a flake of paint or something here. Let me pull that off of there. I'll be tilting it, but still. Okay, I'm just going to go right through the middle here right through the middle here. I'm thinking I want to do something here. I'm adding some darker purple because I'm just not that crazy about how these colors blended together like that. And you're the artist, you get to make the rules. Okay, let's go straight down here. Straight down here. Okay, let's start tilting this. Try and keep it towards the front of the camera as best I can. Hopefully the side will also be able to get it. Don't want to lose my purple completely. a lot of paint on here. Okay. sides covered now let's see what I want to do I'll bring this blue back for sure this way some okay I really like that I think I'm gonna bring my purple I'm just going to touch the sides here. I have a lot of paint on my hands. Hold on one sec here. Let's give it a torch before I do anything else. those bubbles out. There's lots in there. I see something right here. Yes, there was a goop in there. I thought so. Sometimes with Floetrol you get a little bit of goop. Is that just a bubble? Yes. Okay, I'm going to go this way a little bit to 
bring some more of my purple down. There we go, I like that. I like that a lot. I'm so tempted to swipe, but I don't know if I should or not. I always question myself when I get to this point. Do I or don't I? Definitely looks really cool. I always fiddle with my paintings. I don't just leave them be. I feel like it's missing something though. I think I'm gonna do a swipe. Just one, we'll see how it looks. I know everybody's looking going, don't do it. I just have the urge. Okay, I'm going to take my white and I'm going to swipe it. We'll see if we have any cool design that comes out of this. I'm just going to kind of follow. Where that line was. Just give it a little torch. Let's give it a second to do its thing. I like that. I think I need to go one more in the purple. I'm gonna do it you guys and then we're gonna call it done. <clears throat> okay purple. Because there's so much white there I'm gonna go this way. Give that a little bit of a torch. Okay. I'm going to give it a little bit of a tilt. I'm going to cover that spot that I pulled some paint off of. There we go. Tiny a little bit more. There we go. Okay, I'm officially loving this. I am not going to fiddle with it anymore. I'll give it a quick tilt to the front camera. There we go. Adding that little bit of swipe, I think just finished it off for me. That is awesome. Gotta love abstract art and fluid art. It's just awesome. All right, everybody. Thanks very much for joining me. Please hit subscribe, come back and watch another video. For sure, Greg will be putting one up right now for you to click on. Stick around and watch. Thanks again.